I'm Halim Cassell and I work as an artist in various different materials. My first love is ceramics and over the years I've branched out in different media. I love plants. I just love watching things grow and you know the buds springing open and the leaves uh, unfolding themselves. The geometry you find in nature, the kind of pattern work you find in nature. It's almost like seeing if what happens with that carving, you know, seeing that kind of design develop into this 3D visual structure. Virtues of Unity is um, an installation that I've been working on for many years. I'm working with clays from all around the world. So when I was asked to do the commission for the Watts with the clay, what was dug out from the garden, it was, you know, getting that relationship with the clay, the living space and the multidisciplinary of Mary Watts, how she's very connected to nature and how that reflected in her work. Not only does she draw inspiration from nature, she's drawn it from different cultures. You can see her travels, you can see her inspiration. I was really inspired by the chapel. I'm not sure how many other chapels in the country were designed and worked upon by women. That in itself makes it a unique place. It's absolutely wonderful that all the clay that they've worked with is actually dug up very locally. Wow, this is far more amazing than I imagined. You've got the natural motifs and elements of nature brought in together. For me, the spherical form is very spiritual. One of the elements I use a lot in my work is the spherical form. That's something that both Mary and George use within their sculptures and paintings. I think no matter what culture or background you come from, you can appreciate the beauty of the building. And for me, that's important. Virtues, for me, is something that connects us as a human race, regardless of religion, culture, status, our, our, our social background. In this piece, there's the heart-shaped motif, which I've never put a heart in my work before. Doing the research and knowing the theme behind the art and the symbolism to do with the Bodhi leaf, the first Buddha had enlightenment under the bow tree. Like many things, as it travels and as it changes, it takes on new appearances, a bit like the paisley pattern, which came from South Asia. There's a big heart there, big leaf, which goes all the way down here. And there's one on the opposite side, and then the two on top, so there's four hearts, like the four seasons. There's all those lovely, like, kind of reasonings and thoughts behind Mary's work. Mm, that one's gone more quickly, hasn't it? With what I do, I, I love it so much. The kids know I work long days, long hours. But I'm very lucky, I'm with my partner Martin, who I work very closely, and over the last six years, we've worked together a lot on projects. So yeah, they're in here a lot whilst I'm working. It's really important for me to have home life and my work life together so that the children could be around me even when I'm working. So they were part of the work, they were part of what I do. I'm really excited to be doing a commission for the Watts Artist Village to create and develop all these new pieces in response to Mary and George Watts work and hopefully this kind of momentum will be carried on through the art.